If there's one area in which Texas law doesn't match what you might see on television or in the movies, it's how we investigate dead bodies. While dead bodies on television and in the movies are handled by coroners, in Texas there are primarily two persons who investigate deaths. In counties of more than 2 million, death investigations are handled by a medical examiner. In counties with substantially less population, they are typically handled by the Justice of the Peace of the precinct where the death occurs. Don't misunderstand. The Justice of the Peace of your local precinct isn't slicing into bodies during an autopsy, but he or she is responsible for determining how and why a person died. According to Texas law, a county of more than 2 million people in population must establish a medical examiner's office to take over responsibility of investigating dead bodies from the Justices of the Peace. A county of less than 2 million people may have a medical examiner's office if they want to, but it's not required. Most counties of less than 2 million people keep the responsibility with their justices of the peace. Before we continue, we need to take a look at two important terms used in the Code of Criminal Procedure. First, an inquest. According to the Code of Criminal Procedure, an inquest is an investigation into the causes and circumstances of the death of a person, and a determination made with or without a formal court hearing as to whether the death was caused by an unlawful act or omission. So, every time a person dies and the death meets certain requirements found in the Code of Criminal Procedure, a Justice of the Peace in a small county or a medical examiner in a large county must perform an inquest. This may be done either very informally or very formally depending upon the circumstances. The next term is inquest hearing. An inquest hearing is a formal court hearing held to determine whether the death of a person was caused by an unlawful act or omission and, if the death was caused by an unlawful act or omission, to obtain evidence to form the basis of a criminal prosecution. Remember, Whenever a person dies and the death meets certain requirements found in the Code of Criminal Procedure, there must always be an inquest conducted. An inquest hearing is not required and is conducted at the medical examiner or Justice of the Peace's discretion.